I'm Dustin from C4 Labs and this is the Pi Rack. It's a case designed to hold multiple pies into one cluster and I'm actually really excited about how it turned out because as you can see it, it still gives just this really beautiful view of everything but as far as I know it's one of the only cases that is actually designed to hold everything together in one place. And I did that by actually attaching the pies to a single plate and as it goes in, it actually has to lock into the side here, which took me a little while to figure out, but it works really well. And, and on the back here, you can either leave this plate off so that you can take the pies in and out routinely, or you can screw it on so that by the time you're done, there's just a really solid, beautiful case that you can take with you and have available. But the really cool thing is, the bottom here is made to lock into just a normal laptop drive. And as you can see, it, it holds on there pretty well, but it allows you to actually have some decent storage in your cluster. So, let me show you how to put it together. Okay, the very first thing you'll want to do is peel the paper off all your pieces. This just protects it during shipping so that it gets to you nice and fresh without being scratched. If you have trouble lifting up the edge, you can use like a butter knife or something to get a hold of it. Or something that works really well also is to soak it in warm water for a few minutes and that'll help loosen the adhesive. like so. In your kit you'll have two different sets of nuts and screws. You'll have a smaller set and the, these little tiny washer nut things that attach the board to the bottom plate and then you'll have these set of screws that are actually used for attaching the case pieces together. The very first thing you'll want to do is line up the inner and outer side plate. Make sure that you have everything in the right orientation because it's definitely impossible to flip it and obviously your board won't go in. So once you have those in the right orientation put the nuts in along the side here and then stick a screw on the other side. What I've found is it works a lot better to put all the screws in loosely and then go in after they're all in and tighten them down. Once you have both of the side plates together go ahead and assemble the top plate. You'll notice that the clear piece and the inner piece are going to have slots and you want to make sure that those line up because if you flip one those slots won't line up with each other. So just make sure that everything lines up. And then what you'll be doing is taking one of your side pieces and notice how there's a, a clear lip on the front side of everything. Make sure that's lined up. That's going to be wrong. That's right. And then put nuts in these little corner holes. And then next, stick the little nuts in between those teeth. There's a little groove that will grab onto the top of that head so that you can just slip it in like so. And the bottom piece isn't going to have a clear plate, so 
you'll do the exact same thing just without the clear paint. It should just slip in. And then you want to hold those against the side while you flip it over. And loosely put in the screws. If for some reason they don't want to go in, they like they start to bind, just actually reverse a little bit until you hear a click, and then you'll be able to go down. Um, the case is really solid once you finish putting it together, but while it's at this phase, you don't want to drop it. Like, so you know, don't you don't need to be super worried. Just be conscious that the pieces will break if you start throwing it across the room. And again, don't tighten them down yet. Put the other pieces together. And I like to start with the top plate put two little nuts and again just kind of slide on in there now the reason I said to leave everything loose is it's still flexible so what you can do is just lift up the bottom a little bit Stick in the nuts to both of the little prongs. And wiggle those on down. As everything's aligned, it'll just kind of slip into place. And again, hold everything together while you flip it. And put the screws into this side. Again, if the screws do for some reason just bind, just reverse it a little bit and then go back down. Also keeping those kind of loose. Now we can put on the front plate. It'll slip in around all those nuts. And then the very front plate, noticing that the holes on one side are moved in a little bit because the bottom has space where the hard drive can attach. So it'll only go on one direction, but if it doesn't line up, that's why. I'd recommend keeping these loose too for the moment. Now that everything's more or less together, go ahead and tighten it down, starting with the sides. go. Now to attach the 
Raspberry Pi, first thing you'll do is stick the smaller screw through the hole and stick one of these nuts on. I like to use the screwdrivers to tighten everything down and I've already done it for the other corners. So now, take your Raspberry Pi and stick it on the plate in this orientation. The little notch on the plate is going to line up with the ports and the little slot on the side here will be with the USB ports. After that's in, Add four more little nuts to hold that plate on, and you're good to go. At this point, you can add any of the heat sinks you have, and it'll actually just slip in, and the last second will click off to the side here. Um, when you're pulling it out, just kind of like so. If it does like bind or something, just kind of jiggle a little bit, it'll come out. It also is easier if you hold it on the side like this when you pull it out. That'll that'll make sure it's even easier. But it's really not that hard to pull it out. And you can fit it anywhere else you want. If you had a hat, you would just put the hat where one of the slots was and after all your pies are in like so you could either leave the face open or put the uh, back plate on <laughs> don't do what I did which is put it on backwards you can see that the Ethernet ports are slightly smaller so if it's not fitting it's because it's backwards and those screws will go on exactly like they did for the front plate I'll just put two in And this will, of course, add some more durability if that's something you're concerned about. It just won't be as easy to take your pies in and out. So make sure you put the SD card in first. And that is how you assemble the uh, pie rack. Thanks. Oh, and last. Uh, in order for the USB drive to attach it has yet another little set of nuts these little short fat guys you'll just screw them on down into the bottom here as far as they go and you don't need to like crank down on it but just as far as they comfortably go and then it'll you'll see there's little grooves in the side here and those nuts actually lock in and so when you push down it clicks and you can see how the little screws kind of lock in to everything and when you pull it off it will just kind of click out like so and if you want to put the rubber feet on the hard drive, that actually is a really good platform for everything. So, that's actually the end. Thanks.